good morning students in the earlier two videos of acids bases and salts we have discussed about the introduction part the theory of acid and base given by robert boyle arrhenius ronsted lorry seen the chemical properties of acid that is the reaction of acid with that of metal now moving on further the second chemical property of acid is reaction of acid with metal carbonate or metal hydrogen carbonate the general equation is acid when reacts with metal carbonate or metal hydrogen carbonate it gives you salt plus water plus carbon dioxide gas you need to remember this general format of the equation in order to get the equation correct so i repeat acid when reacts with metal carbonate or metal hydrogen carbonate it gives you salt plus water plus carbon dioxide gas just take few equations to understand it when hydrochloric acid reacts with sodium carbonate it gives you sodium chloride plus water plus carbon dioxide the equation is 2 hcl aqueous state when reacts with sodium carbonate which is also in aqueous state gives you 2 nacl in aqueous state plus water in liquid state and carbon dioxide in the gaseous state second equation is sulfuric acid when reacts with magnesium carbonate it gives you magnesium sulfate plus water plus carbon dioxide the equation is h2so4 in aqueous state when reacts with magnesium carbonate which is in solid state gives you magnesium sulfate in aqueous state plus water liquid and carbon dioxide in gaseous state third is a next acid that is nitric acid when reacts with potassium carbonate gives you potassium nitrate plus water plus carbon dioxide the equation is 2hno3 aqueous when reacts with k2co3 aqueous gives you 2kno3 plus h2o in liquid state plus carbon dioxide this was the equation of reaction of acid with metal carbonate giving you salt plus water plus carbon dioxide now let us take few examples of acid reacting with metal hydrogen carbonate in that the first equation is hydrochloric acid when reacts with sodium hydrogen carbonate so we can name it as sodium bicarbonate gives you sodium chloride plus water plus carbon dioxide the equation is hcl aq plus nahco3 aqueous gives us nacl aqueous plus h2o liquid plus carbon dioxide in gaseous state next equation is sulfuric acid when reacts with sodium bicarbonate it gives you sodium sulfate plus water plus carbon dioxide the equation is h2so4 aqueous when reacts with nahco3 aqueous gives you na2so4 aqueous plus 2h2o liquid plus 2co now hno3 that is nitric acid when reacts with sodium bicarbonate it gives you sodium nitrate plus water plus carbon dioxide here hno3 when reacts with nahco3 it gives you nano3 plus h2o plus co2 this is the reaction of acid with metal carbonate or metal hydrogen carbonate in general format we will just recall one more time acid when reacts with metal carbonate or metal hydrogen carbonate gives us salt plus water plus carbon dioxide gas now moving on further to the third property of reaction of acid that is reaction of acid with base salt and water are formed 
by the reaction of acid with base. This reaction is called neutralization reaction. Acid when reacts with base gives us salt plus water. This is a general format of the equation. We'll just take one one example. Hydrochloric acid when reacts with sodium hydroxide, it gives you sodium chloride plus water. The equation is HCl in aqueous state when reacts with sodium hydroxide, which is in aqueous state, gives you NaCl aqueous plus H2O in liquid state. The second equation is sulfuric acid when reacts with potassium hydroxide, it gives you potassium sulfate plus water. The equation is H2SO4 aqueous when reacts with 2KOH gives you K2SO4 plus 2H2O. This is the third chemical property of acid that is reaction of acid with base. It suggests that salt and water are formed by the reaction of acid with base. This reaction is known as neutralization reaction. The general form is acid plus base gives you salt plus water. Moving on further to the next property, chemical property, is reaction of acid with metal oxide. So the general format of the equation is acid when reacts with metal oxide gives you salt plus water. I repeat, acid when reacts with metal oxide gives you salt plus water. You just see the equations. Hydrochloric acid, when reacts with sodium oxide, it gives you sodium chloride plus water. 2HCl plus Na2O gives you NaCl plus H2O. I repeat, 2HCl, when reacts with Na2O, gives you NaCl plus H2O. Second equation is, sulfuric acid, when reacts with magnesium oxide, gives you magnesium sulfate plus water. The equation is H2SO4 when reacts with MgO gives you MgSO4 plus H2O. Next equation is nitric acid when reacts with calcium oxide which is also known as wick line. Gives us calcium nitrate plus water. 2HNO3 plus CaO gives you CaNO3 twice plus H2O. We'll just recall one more time. Reaction of acid with metal oxide. Acid plus metal oxide gives us salt plus water. Moving on further, the next reaction of a base with non-metal oxide. Base when reacts with non-metal oxide, it also gives us salt plus water. The equations are calcium hydroxide when reacts with carbon dioxide gives us calcium carbonate plus water. The equation is CaOH twice plus CO2 gives you CaCO3 plus H2O. The second equation is sodium hydroxide when reacts with sulfur trioxide gives us sodium sulfate plus water. That is 2NaOH plus SO3 gives us Na2SO4 plus H2O. Just recall the particular statement that is of this reaction that is reaction of base with non-metal oxide. Base when reacts with non-metal oxide gives us salt plus water. Moving on further to the next topic of the chapter that is what happens to an acid or base in water solution. The general format is HA aqueous when dissolves in water gives you H plus aqueous with A minus aqueous where A minus is negative ion. We'll just take two examples of it to understand. Nitric acid in liquid state when dissolves in water 
gives you H plus that is hydrogen ion plus nitrate ion H plus aqueous plus NO3 minus aqueous. Whereas hydrochloric acid in liquid state when dissolves in water gives you hydrogen ion in aqueous state plus chloride ion in aqueous state. I repeat, HA aqueous when dissolves in water gives you hydrogen ion aqueous plus A minus aqueous where A minus is nothing but the negative ion. Moving on further in relation to base, MOH solid when dissolves in water gives you M plus aqueous plus OH minus aqueous. Here M plus is a metal ion. We'll take an example. NaOH solid when dissolves in water gives you Na plus OH minus. I repeat, sodium hydroxide in solid state when dissolves in water gives you sodium ion plus hydroxide ion. Next is potassium hydroxide which dissolves in water gives you potassium ion plus hydroxide ion. That is KOH when dissolves in water gives you K plus in aqueous state plus OH minus aqueous. Just recall this one more time. That is what happens to an acid or base when it dissolves in water. When an acid dissolves in water, both the positive and negative ion is separated. The general format is HA aqueous when dissolves in water gives you H plus aqueous plus A minus aqueous. A minus is the negative ion. Now in case of base, MOH solid when dissolves in water gives you M plus aqueous plus OH minus aqueous where M plus is the metal ion. Hope all might have understood. You can write it down if you want. I will just give you a few time, few minutes to write it down.